Hi, thanks for joining me. So, um, today I'm going to do a pickups video. Uh, Houdini won't be joining us. You can see he's uh, just chilling out in his uh, cool hide over there. I just got him a new um, thing for his warm hide because he's getting bigger. So I got him this little log at the pet store and uh, he can crawl right in there. He's, he's really enjoying it. Um, he's got a new thermostat there to keep things at the right temperature. It's about uh, it's not focusing, but it's about uh, just about 87 degrees in there right now, which should be good for him. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. And uh, let's take a look at my pickups. So, uh, hello. Uh, I apologize for the the lighting. It's not tremendously sophisticated, uh, as it you know wasn't in my last video. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to do pickups. Uh, it's been at least three months or so, I think, since I've done uh, pickups. Uh, the reason being, I'm just trying to pick up less stuff. Um, I can't really afford some of the stuff I got, you know, putting, putting these things on a credit card kind of a thing, which is, that's never a good, uh, situation, but, um, you know, when you see the, this stuff, uh, I think you guys will understand, it's, uh, it's particularly weeaboo-ish, um, there's things that I really, really wanted that have been coming out here or, um, you know, are available for the first time and, you know, may not uh, be available in the future. So let's go ahead and start um, with one you guys can probably suspect, No Man's Sky. Uh, I don't think that I mentioned this uh, previously aside from the fact that I was interested in getting it. Um, you know, I made my, my predictions a few days before the uh, the game actually came out. Did it did it blow me away? Did it, like, did it uh, exceed my expectations or was it everything I was hoping it would be? No. Uh, it wasn't, but um, but it was definitely what I was expecting, which um, which is good. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed this game. Um, I cracked out to it really hardcore for probably about a week. Um, just played a I probably put 20 hours into this. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's good. Uh, it's exactly what it said. It's a space exploration sim. Um, where you hop from planet to planet and you kind of like you need to survive you have to gather resources and um, You know, you're just uncovering like what alien life is there like what are how can you upgrade your ship? You know upgrades for your uh, tools to make them faster or better or more effective um, And maybe the only person who really enjoys the combat in this game um, I've gotten I think the highest trophy maybe that you can get for uh for combat in the game, defeating 70 ships or something like that. Uh, I find it really fun. I like how you have to like recharge your shields and like kind of mid-battle. Um, and you can like, uh, they've got this laser weapon that uh, it seems sort of lame at first until you realize it's like really strong and easy to aim. So I just use that. Uh, I've, I've bumped it up a lot and added a lot of mods to my ship to make it like a good combat ship. And it's, it's fun, I like that. Um, which I wasn't expecting, really. <laughs> honestly. Um, it's not deep combat, you're just like, you know, you protect some uh, freighters if they send a distress signal or you get attacked by pirates, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. It's a really cool game. Next up, uh, and if I've talked about any of these before, I apologize. Like I said, it's been, been forever since I've done one of these. But um, we have uh, Nitro Plus Blasters, um, Heroines Infinite Duel. Now, at first, uh, I wasn't like super stoked to get this, um, but there was a good deal on it, and uh, so I picked up a few of these. I'm actually um, selling one on eBay right now. Um, the cheapest uh, new copy of it, as far as I know, available uh, in the United States. <laughs> um, the ones that are all cheaper right now are from the UK, and uh, I, I actually priced it. I just knocked it down like a, a buck or something less than you uh, can get it from Amazon with Prime. So um, if you guys want a copy of this uh, new, I would, I would snag that right up. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I like these style of games. You guys know I, I really enjoyed uh, Aquapazza, which had, um, like a bunch of Aqua Plus characters in a, um, in a fighting game. Now, I believe that was by Arc System Works. This one, I'm not sure. It's localized by Xseed, and, um, you know, it's, it's Marvelous. Like, I assume it was developed by Marvelous, so I'm, I'm not really sure, um, you know, what the gameplay's like. I haven't actually played this, but, um, but yeah, like, a lot of cool characters, like characters from, um, Actually, I almost think there's characters from Fate in this, I could be wrong. Um, but you've got, like, characters from, um, 
what is it, like Demon's Bane, which I haven't actually played uh, yet. The, there's a Jast localization for it, which I'd, I'd really like to check out. Um, like, you know, Supersonico, you know, featured right on the cover there. Um, you know, Nitro Plus, if you guys don't know, a big developer of, like, visual novels and sort of Edo Gay and stuff like that, um, you know, was involved with, um, gosh, was Nitro Plus? Was involved with Steins Gate, which uh, I don't know that there are any Steins Gate characters in here, but you can see, uh, you know, 5 PB and Nitro Plus right on there. As I, mean, I don't know if they were just like the uh, publisher or the developer or what on that. I don't really know what their relationship is with with 5 PB, but anyway, um, yeah, a really cool looking fighting game. You know, it's just super anime, and for you know around like 25 bucks, I couldn't I couldn't pass that up. Um, Next up, another uh, kind of a more budget title, uh, and that is uh, Toho uh, Genso Rondo uh, Bullet Ballet. Yeah. So, um, you know, and another like um, uh, Genso Rondo game, kind of like, um, what was it, the, uh, the Wartech there that came out on the, the Xbox 360. It's like a, a versus bullet hell. So, I mean, you're, you're basically like you're playing a. a a shmup boss fighting against another another shmup boss, and um, you know it's sort of like an arena combat, and it's um, it gets more of like a novel idea, and you know here they obviously just like did it with Toho characters, and I really like I don't play Toho um, like Dojin shmups or like anything like that really, so I don't really know what they're like. Honestly, bullet hell shooters aren't really my favorite kind of shooters, but um, you know because I have War Tech and I've checked it out and it's like it's pretty cool. Like just for the price, I thought that this was worth picking up too. Um, and, you know, it might be a good introduction to the characters from, um, from Toho. So, interested in, uh, in checking this one out. Again, I haven't played this. Um, kind of makes you wonder why I'm picking some of these up when I can't afford them, but uh, I would say it's probably because, you know, like I said, that, that, that came out new at a good price. Um, you know, that other game was at a good price. And, and you know, No Man's Sky, I, I played a bunch of. Uh, another one I can't play, though, because I don't have the system for it, that is Devil's Third. Uh, this finally came down in price a little bit on uh, Amazon, so I figured this is probably the best I'm going to be able to do on it. Um, this has been really hard to get. It seems like it was a, a really limited run. Um, maybe not that limited, because it is available on eBay. I think all of the scalpers that bought this, you know in quantity to resell got burned but uh regardless it's still like you, i've never seen it in the wild so um it seems like amazon's the only place to get it when they drop the price on it i figured i'm gonna grab it um so i really only have one more game uh to get for my wii u collection which is um what is it tokyo mirage sessions um you know i'm a little conflicted on that because like i haven't really been able to get into the Persona series, and it seems very Persona-like, but, you know, I'm hoping that maybe, like, once I get a Wii U, <laughs> um, that might be the kind of game that I would really, um, you know, maybe would get me into, uh, get a good kind of a toe in the, the door of those kind of games. So, um, so anyway, uh, it's something I'd like to have in my collection. Again, when I find it for a reasonable price, I'm trying to not get anything for the Wii U that's really over, like, about 30 bucks or so. So, um, you know, uh, I'll get around to playing those when I get a Wii U someday here. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a slightly different thing. I got some more games coming up, but um, I picked up the, uh, what is it, SH Figuarts uh, versions of uh, Ranma, uh, Ranma characters here. Um, I don't have any other Ranma um you know, figurines, and I don't really know what they've ever uh, released, but this is a pretty cool line, like they did Sailor Moon ones um, like this. Uh, these are obviously uh, from Bondi, and um, this is the first in the set, as far as I know, which is Shampoo. Uh, if you're a uh, patron of mine, you guys have uh, have seen this uh, particular one already. Um, it, it looks wonderful, you know, there's, like, it comes with accessories, you've got, her, like, her cat form, um, you've got her, like, ramen delivery, and, like, a ramen bowl, and some different, like, um, uh, hands and, and expressions that you can use, so they're really neat looking figures. I haven't taken this out, but I definitely might uh, put these on display. Um, the next one in the series that came out is Girl Ranma. Um, I've had this for a little while. Uh, it came out, I don't know, a few months ago or something like that. Um, and this one's really nice too, you know, again, a lot of accessories. You've got uh, her sword, um, the, uh, the kettle that she, you know, you normally uses to change back, and um, 
yeah, again, a really, really nice figure. And uh, this one just came out. I literally got it today in the mail. Um, mail Ranma. So, uh, very excited about these. Now, as far as I know, I think the only one left to come out in this series that I know about is Akane. I'm pretty sure that she's, it's like a four-part um, series here, but hopefully, I'm really crossing my fingers that they're gonna keep going with these and do like another set of maybe four or something and get, you know, I'd really love to see like Genma, um, uh, Ryoga, um, probably like maybe Kuno and Kodachi, and they could go on from there really easily. I'd love to see like, you know, the Tendo girls. Um, there's all kinds of cool characters that they could do uh, from the series if they kept going with it. Uh, knock on wood that will happen, but as you know, so far it's only four figures and I just, I, I'm not gonna pass up on these. Who, you know, who knows? You might be able to get these in a few years, you might not. So I'm just, I'm grabbing them when they come out for the best price that I can. Um, Here's something that I uh, also could not pass up. Uh, you guys know that I'm a big, um, not not a Pokemon game fan so much, but a Pokemon anime fan. And um, it reminds me, actually, they did do um, a new season, like one of the old seasons of Pokemon. After Viz got it, they like released the first couple seasons and then stopped doing it, which was really annoying. Um, so... Anyway, uh, I do need to pick that up still, but I grabbed at uh, Walmart for $5 um, this Pokemon movie collection. So this is like uh, Pokemon Heroes the movie, uh, Pokemon Jiraichi Wishmaker, uh, Pokemon Forever, and Pokemon Destiny Deoxys the movie. Um, I expect these all to be kind of crap as far as like Pokemon stuff goes, you know, mostly. Um, it's just because, I don't know, like, movies are so weird because it's like they always try to kind of up the stakes, but they can never actually have, um, you know, big stakes, anything big at stake because it's like they just need to not interrupt the, like, the canon. So, um, I don't know. Uh, you guys might remember I picked up a um, Pokemon movie a while back, and I don't think it was any of these. It could have been the Jiraichi one, but I don't think it was. Uh, I'll check. I should have checked before I made the video, but anyway, I watched that and it was it was fun. It was pretty good. It was one of the newer ones. So um, actually, yeah, no, because Jiraichi is like from Advance, I think, because um, the other one I got was like from anyway. Doesn't matter. So um, so yeah, Pokemon movies. It was, it was literally like five dollars, so it was like a dollar twenty-five each for the movies. So I can't really go wrong there. One game here that I almost forgot, uh, one of the best here, obviously, uh, my favorite game of all time, Dead Rising. Uh, I did pick this up for the PlayStation 4, uh, it was just re-released, kind of a really simple HD, uh, just upscale, and uh, it looks great. Uh, it, you know, it's 10 years old, so it's, um, uh, you know, it has some issues with, like, the models and things like that, look a little basic, but, man, the... Um, you know, it's still like the the motion capture and the the voice acting in this are actually really good. I've, I'm really appreciating that appreciating that again uh, this time around, and um, you know, just so much fun. I've only had this for a few days, and I, you know, I've already gotten a couple of the endings and a bunch of the trophies and stuff. So I'm I'm really having fun with it. It's still an amazing game, and uh, yeah, this was like 20 bucks new. So um, again, getting a lot of these games pretty affordably. Uh, I, I just had to go ahead and, and grab this, of course. Still in the shrink wrap, I grabbed uh, Exist Archive. This is, uh, I actually don't know much about this. It's a it's a tri-ace RPG, uh, you know, published here by Axis, so I figured, you know, um, yeah, I'm not really going to go wrong with that. I just, you know, it's something I kind of picked up on a whim, honestly. Um, but again, you know, I, I picked it up with something else, and the price together was like the price it would have cost to buy this new on the PlayStation 4, so by buying it on the Vita, I basically got two Vita games for the price of a PS4 game, and that is uh, the other one here, uh, Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. Uh, so excited for this. Um, you, know, you guys know what a big fan I am of the Neptunia games, and uh, this one sounds really cool. It's like a spin-off game that is uh, in the RPG mold, which is literally the first time that they've done that with one of the spin-off games that isn't kind of part of the main um, series. So this one, uh, I guess, kind of stars IF, and, uh, I, like, Neptune, um, be becomes a, a motorcycle, like, ne like, <laughs> uh, uh, IF's motorcycle, I guess, in this, which is really funny. Um, and, you know, and the Sega hardware girls are, like, you know, the Dreamcast, the, the Saturn, and the, um, I think it's the Game Gear, maybe, or the, or the Mega, uh, not the Mega Drive, but the, um, oh, actually, it might be the Mega Drive. 
I don't even know what they are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll learn when I play the game. Uh, I, I watched like one episode of the anime and I just I didn't like it all that much. But um, but I'm looking forward to this because I think it's going to be really fun. And the the RPG system they have in this sounds pretty cool too. I think from what I've read in uh, reviews, it's getting you know it's getting the kind of reviews that like the normal games do, which is like seven, seven and a half. You know, getting close to eight maybe. Um, and people seem to like you know enjoy the the, the our whole RPG uh, setup for it. So. Um, yeah, I'm super looking forward to playing that. And uh, those are my pickups. I did forget to mention, uh, if you guys are interested in this um, uh, Melrama, I did order two of them, I believe, by accident. So I will go ahead and probably just put one of these up for sale on eBay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm you know, basically just going to charge what I paid for it so I can just get my money back on it. So uh, you guys will get essentially the same deal that I did on it. So, um, yeah. If you are interested in, in this, I would go ahead and, uh, and grab that from me. And uh, the, as far as I know, the other two should be available. You know, check stuff like PlayAsia or um, like Hobby Search or AmiAmi or any of those places. Uh, I actually, uh, if you're a Crunchyroll uh, Prime subscriber, or even if I, you probably don't even have to be, I think Crunchyroll has a store. I actually got two of these from Crunchyroll and one of them from I think Hobby Search or AmiAmi. So, um, so anyway. Uh, get one from me, and you should still be able to get the other two if you're interested, so, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more videos here, so I hope you're looking forward to that, and I hope that you'll join me again for more anime and video game related videos.